Welcome, welcome to the bike man for you. You know, the bike man for you sometimes feels a little bit like Wild E. Coyote. You know Wild E. Coyote? He's the guy that used to chase that Roadrunner guy around. Uh, meet me. Yeah, exactly. Neat, neat guy. And uh, Wild E. Coyote always went to this specific factory for all of his things that he needed. His traps and his anvils and his pianos and his fulcrums and his all his stuff came from one factory now if you know who Wiley e. Coyote is you know where that one factory is but it always never seemed to work before we get into Wiley e. Coyote in the factory I, I I gotta come out with full disclosure on this I am not one to put things down and call them junk and it would have to be an extreme. This possibly is one of those times. I'm not going to say anything. I'm going to let you guys be the judge. You tell me what you think of the quality of these bicycles. The times they are changing. They are changing drastically for your independent bicycle dealer. Your independent bicycle dealer is dealing with so much competition between Dick's Sporting Goods, Sports Authority, Toys R Us, Target, Kmart. Uh, it just goes on and on and on. And they're producing these bicycles, they're not really putting them together that great, but whatever, okay? But we here, independent bicycle dealer, is getting more and more bikes that are coming in a box. And they're saying, here, bike man, put it together. Well, we have a sliding scale, and I'm not going to tell you how much I charge, because all you guys do is beat me up when I tell you how much I charge. Remember, I'm in the high rent district. We get a premium. Whatever. I'm not going to defend myself. I don't have to defend myself. I've been in business for 37 years. I get what I get, and I'm not telling you guys. You guys figure it out on your own, but just remember to charge and to charge enough. Because it costs money to do this stuff. It costs money in labor, tools, insurance. It goes on and on and on and on and on. So... Get enough. So many of our viewers are fo that, that work in bike shops and own bike shops are checking us out. And remember, times are changing. Don't fight it, guys. Don't fight it. Go with it. But make sure you charge the people enough money so that you guys can stay in business. We're putting 10 bicycles together that come out of a box that were not purchased from us. And here comes the wild eat coyote part of the whole thing. The Acme merchandise and apparel acme merchandise and apparel this is the box it came from okay this is the box that it came in he, he didn't bring in one he brought in four four bicycles two single speeds and two multiple speeds and it came from the acme merchandise and apparel wildly coyote here's the other one in the box it's not put together okay and then we got the other one underneath here that came in another box as well. Uh, again, made in China, Toronto, about. So let's get on with it. It's the beer bikes. Come on over. Let me show you what came from the American Acme. Nice. Who's that for me? For you. Nice. Acme. Hey, bro, I'm gonna bring it out here in the light because my white balance is different. Okay. Berries. All right. Here we go. We'll get it out here for you. Oh yeah. Oh, uh, put it in the light bike, man. Look oh. at it. Oh yeah, oh yeah baby. This is the Coors Light Silver Bullet Single Speed Cruiser. It is steel. The welding on this is just incredible. Let me get a better look at that. That's some freaking. I mean this is some fine worksmanship on this. I'm being facetious. I'm being sarcastic, people. Move your finger. Get a nice close-up of that bead that they put on there. Notice how nice the front stem and how, you know. Oh, yeah, yeah. Seb, you got... Uh, oh, another great feature of this bicycle. They give you two rear reflectors. One to go. we got to change this out. This needs to be white. Aluminum rims. It is just... Just making it as a bike. Oh, my. I, 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 it's on the cusp. I don't know what the story is. There are no brand parts on this that I have ever heard of. Okay? It'll be interesting to see how well the, and how much it holds up. But, again, the guy needs some. 
I hate to use the word cheap because nothing's cheap in this world. Uh, cheap is what we look for in a girlfriend, not in a bicycle. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Ah, uh, this thing is cheap. So you got the Coors Light single speed. Now, the other one that came along with this bicycle, the other quality machine was the, if you got a Coors Light, you got to have a Corona. We got Sebastian in the house over here working on the Corona. Corona beer. Corona, oh boy, full suspension mountain bike. This is the other one that came in, and we got two of these to put together. Again, <laughs> what quality... I've never heard of... It's called Power Index System. It says so right on it. Power Index System. And on the front, it just says Power. Shram Red can't compete. Shram, oh, man. Yeah, Shimano and Shram, they're in trouble. <laughs> We got this brake system here, uh, you know, standard V brake. The power shifter looks almost identical to some of your SRAM. See, I told you. Uh, and this brake lever, come in here tight so that everybody can see what I'm talking about. Now, this is where quality comes into play. This brake lever here is plastic. No matter how tight I make that brake and whatnot, and we squish on this, you can see how this whole thing flexes. So no matter how tight I make that brake, it's only going to be so good because the lever is just, it's, this is why steel levers and, you know, metal, but it's, nobody's ever heard of this stuff. I don't, you know, they produce this stuff for pennies on the dollar, and then somebody goes out and kills themselves on it and whatnot, and, uh, you know, nobody knows nothing. So it's our job to put these things together as safe as we possibly can. And then tell the customer, hey, listen, don't expect miracles out of this thing. Do you understand what we're talking about? Make them sign a little waiver. But the bottom line is these people are coming to you to put this thing together. And don't forget to get enough money so that you guys can stay in business. Because if we're doing 10 of these a day, 10 of these a week in a box, that means we're not selling 10 bikes a week. Okay? So consequently, you guys, you know, it's tougher and tougher to sell bicycles, not just from the economy, but from competition out there. And, uh, but the mechanics and the know-how of putting this stuff together and making it right, that's where it comes into play. And that's where your expertise, my expertise, and that costs money. And if you want to stay in business and you want to live, you got to charge the people enough money. So for all you guys out there that are working at bike shops and that own bike shops, don't refuse the business. Work with it. Be a you gotta be able to adapt to change. Don't hate change, adapt to change. What else can I say? There's your beer bikes. I hate to beat up a bikes, but, oh boy. The Acme School of Bike Man for you and Wild E. Coyote. I want you guys to never fear the bike man for you is here. Saving the world, one athlete at a time. And what do you do with this thing? You suck on it? You eat it. You chew it. It's a chewy type thing. It's a chew. Thing. It's kind of a. It's kind of like a gummy bear.